What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Let's Play. In the last episode, we messed around at the seven stars, seven grand stars, something hotel. I don't know, the hotel that you guys uh, see when you come over through the route on the right side, uh, past Lake Valor. That's where we came from. This is, I just fricked up this intro so hard. Anyways, uh, and we made our way here to Pistoria City. We did do a bit of move reminding for some of our team members, just to make them a little bit better. Uh, but today, we're going to check out all the stuff here in Pistoria City, except for the Great Marsh. I'm going to do that off screen, just because I know that that's going to be a bit of a doozy. Or maybe I might, maybe I might say that and have it be its own episode. Uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I'll see how it is once we get to, like, the end of the video. But, uh, before we get into things, uh, let's do a quick team recap because, like I said, something's changed, um, uh, in between the episodes, so I want to make sure everyone is informed about it. But we got Shahaha here, our skunk tank at level 34, holding the amulet coin, uh, impish nature, which is, uh, it's alright. It's not, it's actually probably not good for us at all, uh, because Skunk Tank is not bulky, but it's whatever. Um, but we got Crunch, Flamethrower, Toxic, and Venom Shock. We relearned Venom Shock in the last episode, so now we have a Poison type on our Poison type, and we have Toxic, which means that if we poison something, Venom Shock does double damage. And then next up, we got our shiny Altaria here, Leesla at level 36, careful natured, which is also not a good uh, nature for it. But we do got Cotton Guard, Dragon Pulse, Hurricane, which we relearned in the last episode in Sing. And then we got Join our Torterra here at level 37. She's rocking uh, that quick claw because she's slow, because she's got a brave nature. Uh, but she got Bite, Razor Leaf, Leech Seed, and Earthquake. Then we got Frisco, our Luxray here at level 36 with Howl, Spark, Flash, and Volt Switch. And then last but not least, we got our Manaphy, Trident here at level 35 with Tail Glow, Bubble Beam, Acid Armor, and Ice Beam holding that Shell Bell. Baby! So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two out front because with the idea that we're going to be taking on the gym today, I want to have them out front. Some trainers deliberately prevent their Pokemon from evolving. They wait until the Pokemon levels up and learn certain moves. Yep, that's how it works. You just you look totally like an impatient boy I met earlier. Just like you, he's very close to this Pokemon. Hey, thanks for making me senile. They might put a smile on your face. Alright, we got more stickers. Cool. I'm visiting the area because I wanted to see the Great Marsh. I'm staying at the Lakeside Hotel. Fair enough, I guess. Uh, what do we got going on in here? Howdy there, let me see if your Pokemon is... and see if it's where they're wearing a scarf. This one was I hope to say I can't lie to you, I just have to tell you straight. This Pokemon's not bad, but it's not good either, it's just so so. If you want to improve one's condition, feed it some more Poppins. Okay, how about you just look at my contest star then? Hmm, I see. This is one I hope to see, but I can't lie. You can suck my ass then. My brother's girlfriend is the massage girl in Balestone City. They take strolls to, with their Pokemon whenever they get together. It helps them stay really close. Yeah, well, he's a stuck-up little bitch. Sorry. Uncalled for, I am aware. I am aware. Uh, on a part of the sea, the seawater drained away over time, leaving this huge marshland. That's why they say there are rare Pokemon that you can only see here. Great Marsh is vast. How vast, you ask? Take a look from the observatory and you can see it for yourself. I'm actually I actually do want to see if if it looks much different in this game or not. It's like breathtaking in a weird way. It's hard to explain, you know what I mean though. Maybe I will, but probably not. In the Great Marsh they use the quick trams on rails for transportation to prevent damage to the Great Marsh's ecosystem. Okay. We got berries here, which I'm gonna go ahead and pick. I'm gonna go ahead and pick those bad boys up. Got some nanab berries as well. And some person berries. What do you have to say? 
Someone in Great Marsh offered me a technical machine containing a hidden move, but I declined. I don't need it because the gym leader will, will use default for us if we ever need it in the city. I'm still gonna pick it up though. I mean, it's. It'll be good for. Uh, competitive. For like hazards and things like that. You know about Burmy and how they come in different forms? You have all the forms of that there, Burmy? Oh, you don't even have a single Burmy. You don't like them? They're kind of mushy and cute. Hmm, Burmy are an interesting example. They hint at how the environment can shape someone's personalities. Do I need to have a Burmy for, like, some reason? Have you been to the Pokemon Mansion? The owner, Mr. Backlot, likes to brag about his rare Pokemon. Yeah? Great Marsh keeps the weather cool in the summertime. This is a good town for water-type Pokemon. Yeah? So the rare Pokemon that only appear in the Great Marsh. Okay. Ah, uh, they have the Krogunk statue. Pokemon Krogunk is the city's official mascot. Krogunk is sure is pretty. We're hoping it will become more popular around the world. The stickers on the, the ball capsule then put it on a Pokeball and done. Another Pokeball made by me. It's one of a kind. Welcome. How may I help you? What do you got for us? Um, since we have the money right now, I kind of want to buy more balls. Like nest balls, uh, dusk balls, and quick balls. Quick balls especially are going to be good. Because they have a four times catch rate, I believe, on the very first turn. It's either four or five times catch rate than like an Ultra Ball on the very first turn. Like it's, it's insane how good they are and how not a lot of people really use them. I've been hiking all around the center region. I love planting berries wherever I go. I'll give you a berry too. Please plant it somewhere. A shardy berry. I might just do that. My sister gathers berries every day. Please come visit again. We'll, we cook the berries too. We mix them up. They're yummy. Okay. I was gonna say, what did, did they change? Eh, they didn't change it, but it is still a pain in the ass like it was in the original games. You know what? Nah, we'll go on the Great March now. There's no reason for me not to, really. Like, I've done everything. I'll probably run through the gym super duper quickly, too, so there's, like, no reason for me not to. Tell me I'm not imagining this. The Great March's Pokemon seem to be different from the ones yesterday. There are shuttle trains. You should take those if you want to go deeper into the marsh. Yes. When you're walking on the bog, you sometimes sink right in. I get so frustrated trying to get out. I have no luck catching anything. Use a pair of binoculars. Yeah. All right. Now I'll put a hundred in. Let's take a look and see what we see. Okay. The barrel. Wooper. Azuru. Azuru again. Meryl. Psyduck. Psyduck again. Psyduck again. Starly, okay. The barrel. And then what's the last thing gonna show us? Wooper. The barrel. Zoom. Uh, Meryl, sorry. Quagsire. Quagsire. Okay, interesting. Is this your first Safari game? Sure, we'll say yes. Uh, 30 Safari Balls, I only allow you to use that ball in the Safari game. The game is over when you run out of Safari Balls or when you walk 500 steps. Please do enjoy the Untamed Nature. 500, yeah. 30 Safari Balls, and we're gonna go... Go, go. 
into here. Found these during the Safari game. Each of these TMs contain the fog, but none of my Pokemon can learn that move. You'd be doing me a favor if you took these. Yeah? Defog is, that, is in the hidden moves apps, allowing you to blow white fog that obscures your path. Okay. Ah, uh, I forgot. I don't have any repels. But we did encounter a Meryl, which is cool. Um... I'm gonna mud it. Damn it! Of course he would get upset and leave instantly. Of course he would do that. I don't even think I hit the grass. Oh, I just realized something. Let me make sure I did this. Oh, I did not do that, actually. Um, let me check and remember which this which video that, that was under. I believe it's 15. Okay. I just, I just thought about it now because of uh, us going through the mud here. Oh, I have repels. What the hell am I talking about? But I also want to... I want to also encounter another Meryl because I actually want to catch a Meryl. I don't know if I want to do a zero roll. I don't want to do a zero roll mainly because I need friendship with that thing and I'm not going to make that thing friendly. Or if I do, it's going to take me... A stupid long time to do. Just not interested in doing all that. What do you have to say? Blowing mud makes it harder to catch. Wait. Throwing food at a Pokemon makes it easier to catch them, but while they're e while eating it, they're likely to bolt. Throwing mud at a Pokemon makes it harder to catch, but also be angry and become less likely to bolt. So you want to throw food, because it's easier to catch. So you want to throw food because it's easier to catch, right? They're more likely to run away? Yeah, I'm sure of it, because when I threw mud at the Meryl, it ran away. But I threw food at the Starly, and he was like, yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool with you. I'm staying. I don't care. Here we go again. It, it honestly, it has to be my... It's got to be something with my, um... Wire or something. With the face cam. Like, it, it's kind of ridiculous that this keeps keeps happening, but... Uh, you might be asking why I caught the Starly, it's just so I have it for later on. For, uh, competitive. Also, I might want to do shiny hunting stuff when I am, uh, when I'm home. It's happening again. It's happening again. I moved, like, three steps, and I've ran into nothing. I've ran into, I've ran into everything. Stop it. Also, the reason why I'm, like, running out this far, uh, is because I'm trying to... I'm trying to scoop up as many of the items as I can this first go-around, so I don't have to worry about... Uh, missing something potentially good. I don't think there's anything over here, so I'm just gonna cross the other side. Get a bug tester there. Like, I, I slightly, I slightly moved my cable just now. I'll, I'll even do it again here in a second. So. No, nothing? Oh, now it's just Meryl's paranoid, isn't it? 
Dude, any sort of movement I've done with like my leg hitting it has caused it to be like, oh, it's not plugged in. But I flick it twice and it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't act like it's unplugged. Okay, fair. That's a fair judgment. Hmm. Can I stop running in the barrel? I I don't think I can catch a Meryl just by itself. Because I feel like it's just going to run away. I feel like it's just going to run away. But... I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't know if there's anything over here, so I want to. I just want to check before I jump over that ledge. I just want to check before I jump over the ledge. No, I don't think there's anything. Or it looks like something I can actually go and get if I do jump over the ledge. So I'll be all right if I do it. I guess we're not taking on the gym in this episode. I mean, there's still 14 minutes. I'll be... I won't be much longer. Literally, the moment I run into a Meryl... The moment I run into a Meryl and I can catch it... I'm putting on a Repel, so I won't have to run into any more of these mods. I'm still so shook about the whole shiny Altaria, or well, the shiny Swablu, because... You're not getting any more of a natural reaction than that. Uh, I'm gonna go area four, because this the area that's at the front is five and six. I'm gonna go up this way now. We're gonna talk to Bug Catcher, dude. It's just, it's just kind of like weird though, because I've already gotten a shiny Altaria. Like when I played Ultra Sun and Moon, I believe, like the Ultra Wormholes, I went through one of them and I went and found myself a shiny Altaria. But I also think in those games, I found myself a, uh, Swellow? I've, I found a shiny like most times when I go into the Ultra Wormhole. Like, it's, it's funny how many times I found shinies going into, going into there. I just think it's, I just think the one thing that kind of makes me happy though is that I found one full odds before shiny charm things like that, but when I was playing Sword and Shield for the first time, I could not find a shiny Stuffle to save my life. I'm upset because when I found this Stuffle, I wasn't recording or anything like that, so I had to save the clip off of my Switch, which just will show the, uh, it'll just show the gameplay and, like, the, it'll just play game audio stuff. So, like, if I were to save a video clip now from my Switch, I'm not even surprised it ran away. Um, if I were to save a video clip from my Switch right now, it would save 30 seconds of it, and then it would just have the audio that you're hearing right now and nothing else. Alright, whatever, man. No, I'm fine, fuck this. You know what, I'm actually curious. Where else can I encounter... Uh, Meryl I think it's gonna be further down. I don't know how much further, but... Right here. Where is your habitat? Habitat unknown? But you're literally in the Great Marsh. You know what I might do? What I might do in between 
this episode and the next is I might go uh, mess around in there. So like, I'll be in the Grand Underground as well. I like how the gym looks. Oh, the water looks nice. But, um, I'll be, like, in the Grand Underground, uh, messing around there, because I'm pretty sure we unlock a new... I'm pretty sure we unlock a new area with us being in Pistoria City, so we get, like, the stuff that's on, like, the bottom row. We get all of that. So mess around with an explore. So, that'll be fun. Join us awaiting your directions. Yeah? Razor Leaf is ass! Level 26. I really hope that... I really hope that they, um... Catch up. Also, I need to put Travis in the PC, so because I don't want to have this thing evolve and have to sit through the animation on... Uh, my own time. I actually didn't even check out, like, anything with him. What do you got for us, Travis? Timid nature? That sucks. That... That honestly is not good. Also, I can't put him away right now, so I guess he's gonna be... I guess he's gonna be joining us for this gym adventure. You know what? Fuck it. We'll bring him along. Mainly because I don't want to go back. <laughs> I don't want to go back until I beat the gym, so... Also, uh, I was, like, going back and checking out, like, the episode for the Underground and, like, how much levels I got for my team. Yeah, it was, like, five to six levels for everybody, so it really does show how kind of OP that is, like, early on in the game. It just, it just makes the game so easy when you take advantage and do things like that, but... I guess they wanted to sort of do something similar like the wild area in Sword and Shield, so I get that. But also, I feel like at the same time, they should have scaled this to be like... Um, oh, you can't catch this high level of Pokemon. Because I went in there... And I caught a uh, Luxio, or a Shinx, rather, at like level 26 or 27. And then I caught a Houndoom at 29. Then I caught this Skunk Tank here at I think 31 or something like that. Like, I'm going in there and catching mods and just casually being able to add them to my team. Which is, I think, fine in some, some regards, but... When I'm beating the second gym? I don't know. See though? I just I just casually moved it with my finger just now. And it unplugged. Really really don't have to be like that, but it do. Really don't have to be like that, but it do. Alright, joins level 38. I'm telling you, we're gonna be we're gonna be over leveled for a little while, just just a little while. But yeah, and that's that that's how that's how these newer games work. That's how they uh, that's how they work from this point forward. But yeah, I'll go back in and I'll go and catch a Meryl just so I can have one. It's kind of for, like, shiny hunting and things like that, mainly, but I don't know. Oh, you have Sap Zipper. Interesting. Well, then, we can make this more destructive if that's how we're going to be. So, I'm assuming for breeding, you're gonna be able to find Ditto, right? Like, surely. Surely Ditto is obtainable right now. Or, well, when you get the National Dex, anyways. And if it's not, then that's kinda dumb. 
I like I'm not I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's kinda dumb if that is uh the case. But you know it's whatever, man. Fisher Eric. Oh, <coughs> sending out a gold beam. Heck yeah. Yep. Again, slightly moving it with my knee this time, and it just unplugs. And it's gotta be the cord. It's gotta be the cord, or it's gotta be the uh, outlet, or the jack thing on my phone. Because it... I move it oh so slightly, and it just fucks with it. But again, it's weird, because when I have it plugged in when I go to bed, it's perfectly fine. So, that's like, that's just the interesting part about it is that I, it's not that it never stays plugged in, it's just whenever I do something like, oh, now I just want to do it. But when I do it accidentally, it'll, it'll unplug. All right. Sir, I don't like your big shrimp in front of me. He's not a shrimp. He's, he is definitely more like a Komodo dragon, but you know, I'm just... I'm just being silly. Also, we're gonna get an evolution with the Starly. Unintentionally, but you know what? It's fine. Trinolin Aerial Ace? Sure. I don't plan on using you anyways, but... Sure, you can take this... You can take this time to learn a move. I don't care. Oh, he has another Mon? Barboach. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely staying in. He sent out the perfect Mon for me to KO. Oh, we got a crit as well. Thirty-five with the skunk tank. Heck yeah, let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. I was gonna say I really don't care that it's evolving, but I'll give it the I'll give it the evolution because why not? Because I'll just do it again after the gym fight anyways, so just let's let's deal with all this stuff right now and see. Alright, step on that. I'm gonna go down here, step on this one. I think the one thing that maybe might bother me a little bit with this remake, but it kind of doesn't because it seems to be the theme. It's just the... Like, the gym puzzles seem to be all the same. Like, I'm thinking back to Oras again. And only a couple of the gym puzzles felt the same, but most of them didn't. Most of them were similar concepts to what they were, and like, normally, and like, normal Ruby and Sapphire. But... These all feel the same, and I guess when you think about it, that was the case with the Gen 1 remakes, to a degree. Um, I was kind of sort of the same with Gen 2 as well. Gen 3 was a little bit different with it, but I don't know. I think it would have just been cooler to do a couple a new gym puzzles, or maybe just have all of them be different. I, I guess it's a remake, so it's like... You're going based off the original game, so maybe it's just better if you do the original stuff. I guess that's, I guess that's what it is. I guess that is fine, I guess it makes sense, but... Go ahead and level up there. We're at 29 minutes now. 
I really just want to do the gym fight in this episode, so if this one's a little bit longer, then that's fine with me. I really don't care. So I'm going to go ahead and save my game beforehand, because it's always smart to save your game before you do anything important, even with an autosave feature. His head is huge compared to, like, ours. Welcome, I don't get challenged very often. The glory... You are now beholding the Pastoria Gym Leader. That's right, I'm Crash Awake. My Pokemon were toughened up by stormy white waters. They'll take everything you can and throw them. You, they'll take everything you can throw at them and pull them pull you under. Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get it done. I feel like when you think of Gym Leaders from Gen 4, Awake is like the number one guy. Like he is... He is that guy that you think of. Alright, he let off with Gyarados, which is fine because I'll just swap into Frisco. Level 27, yeah. I was gonna say, there's no way that... I just... I just wish they implemented things from, like, Platinum. Just some of it, just some things. And maybe they will. This is, again, I'm, I'm playing this blind. I've been trying to keep this as blind as I possibly can. I like the first move that he goes for, he gets hacked with. That's so cool. And a crit. Wonderful. And a defense drop. And I'm frozen still. Interesting. Interesting how that works, huh? Bruh, let me thaw out. Brian, that's probably gonna kill me, isn't it? Nah, we're, t we're too high level. Thank you. I just wanted to get in Volt Switch and get out. Cause I know Volt Switch was gonna kill the Gyarados. Thank you. All I wanted. I wasn't asking for much there. Level 37. Now I'm gonna swap into the Torterra. His Gyarados did have Ice Fang, though, which was a, was a good idea for me to swap out. I'm going to go ahead and Razor Leaf this Quagsire. We got the Quick Claw. Out speed. And you're gone. Let's get it. Floatzel. Okay. Floatzel, come on out, buddy. Level 30. Another Quick Claw? Yeah, no, this is for all the hacks that you got earlier. Fuck you. You can get out of here. I am not, not interested in what you're selling. Alright, level 39. Trying to learn Synthesis? Nah. Yeah, Leech Seed already. Huh, it gone and ended. How will I say this? I want more. I want to battle a lot more. Hey man, not opposed. Seems the Undertow pulled me under, but I had a great time battling with you. You've earned this. We are now four badges deep into this game. What is this, episode 21 or something like that? Uh, you need the Fen Badge to use the hidden move Defog from your Pokeyes. Uh, these are a special award in recognition of your team's power. Alright, we got the stickers of Lakeus and TM55, which is Brine. Use it to end battles decisively. Yes, I will. And on that note, I think there might be story stuff that happens outside once we leave the gym. No, not yet? Weird. I figured it would've. But I guess if there's no story stuff, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode here, or this episode here. Um, 
If you guys did enjoy this episode of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Let's Play, please go ahead and show your support by hitting that like button down below because it would be greatly appreciated. Um, here soon, uh, I'm going to be recording episodes back from my my house. Oh, there goes the face cam. There it is. Gotta love that at the end of the episode. And it doesn't look like it's coming back. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Let's Play, make sure you go ahead and show that support by hitting that like button down below. It would be greatly appreciated. I'm back. I'm pink slightly. Now I'm not pink. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to be recording these from my apartment again here very, very soon. So that'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully we can uh, get some stuff going with it. But uh, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, please. Uh, follow my socials in the description below. And I'm, I'm going to get out of here. Have a great day and peace.